वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्री जुता पद कमल श्री गुरु नैष्णवाश्च श्री रूप सागर जात सागन रघुनाथ तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परीजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सह गण ललिता श्री विशाका ओम ज्ञान तिरंग से ज्ञानंजन शलाक चक्षुरुन्मील तस्म श्री गुरव नम मुखम कौती वाचा पंगुम लंगायते गिरी यत्पाथम वंदे श्री गुरु दीनतारण वाचकूभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतितनाभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो महाबदन्याय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदाय थे कृष्णा कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम गौराचिषे नम निनंद नमस्तुभ्यं प्रेमानंद प्रदाने कलौकलमशनाशा जानवापत नम अजानुलंबितुज कनकामदा संकर्तनको कमलाय थक्ष विश्वरो द्विजवरो युगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रियको करुणावतारो पंच तत्वात्मक कृष्ण भक्तूपस्वूपक भक्तवतारम भक्ताख्यम नमा भक्तशक्ति हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत पथे गोपीश गोपिका राधका नमोस्तुते सप्तखाशन गौरांगी राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय जय तम श्रुत भंगोर मम मंदमतेर्गति मत्सर्वस्वपदाबौज राधा मदन मोहन दिव्याद वृंदरण्यकूमधा श्रीमद्रतन गार सिंहासन श्रीमद्राधा शील गोविंद देव प्रेष्टादि सेव्यम स्मरा श्रीमसरसारंभि वंशीवता तथस्थ खर्षन वेणुस्वनैर्गोपीर्गोपीनाथ श्रेष्ठ न भक्तिया विहीन अपराध लक्ष्य क्षिप्त कामी तदंग मध्ये कृपा मयि ठम शरण प्रपन्न वृंदे नमस्ते चरणारविंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधार शिवासारी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम ऑफरिंग माय अनलिमिटेड धन्यवाद प्रणाम and my shraddha pushpanjali at the lotus feet of my most worshipable beloved gurudev nitya lila pravishta 
Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Astotara Sata Sri Srila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Maharaj Srila Prabhupada. Then I'm offering my same unlimited Dandavat Pranams and my Shraddha Pushpanjali at the lotus feet of my most worshipable beloved Sikh Shagura Devs, Nitya Lila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Astotara Sata Sri Srila Bhakti Rakshak. Shridhar Goswami Maharaj and Nitya Lila Pravishta Om Vishnu Pad Paramahansa Astatara Sata Sri Shiva Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. <clears throat> I'm offering my Dandavat Pranams to the lotus feet of all of my Sri Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Varga. And I'm offering my Dandavat Pranams to all the Vaishnavas and all the Vaishnavas. And today is disappearance day of Srila Kaliya Krishna Das, eternal associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I didn't read that today, but I heard the devotees were mentioning about also how he is one of the 12 Gopals, Dvadasha Gopals. <clears throat> so we're continuing with uh, verse 9 of Sri Vilapa Kusumanjali. What is the meaning of the word Vilap? Lamentation. Extreme lamentation. In what mood? Vipralamba separation. separation. There are a few different books by our acharyas which are expressing <laughs> like this, of course. <coughs> but this is probably <coughs> the most intense in the sense that it is a non stop flow, as we read yesterday about Antara Dasha and Bahir Dasha. So, the, but this is a non-stop flow from the topmost Rupanuga Acharya in our line, uh, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pad. So he's continuously expressing from his Antara Dasha. Very important about Antara and Bahir and uh, Ardha Ardha Bahya Dasha, half in and half out. So now, <clears throat> so Raghunath Das Goswami, uh, sometimes in a spurti, by remembering, and sometimes he comes in Ardha Bahya Dasha, and sometimes in Bahya Dasha. When he is in Bahya Dasha, he is weeping and weeping, and feeling separation in a similar way as Radhika feels separation from Krishna. Even when Radhika has just returned from Krishna, Still, uh, she is thinking, I have not seen Krishna for such a long time. Like in their daily eightfold pastimes, like Nishanta Lila. Now Radha and Krishna have to part. They're feeling extreme separation before they even part to go back to their homes, before the sun rises. But Srimati Radhika is burning in separation, especially at that time she needs her manjaris there. <clears throat> and like when she has just returned from Krishna, but still she is thinking, I have not seen Krishna for such a long time. And feels great separation. We cannot even imagine this stage. Only those who are perpetually serving her 
can possibly imagine something of it. We may possess some eagerness to see Krishna, but we have no Mahabhav. What to speak of Mahabhav? We don't even have Bhav or even any Asakti. One can only taste separation as Srimati Radhika does in the elevated stage of Madan. Even Lalita and Vishaka do not possess this. We should know that. We should put that in our memory banks. No one else. Srimati Radhika only in the stage of Madan. So, by serving her, the Manjaris can realize something of it. Can you understand how, in, in, how essential, essential the seva of the Manjaris, how they can actually experience something of that? No one else can. Yes, because of that, but we should understand this uniqueness. It is such an important thing to understand. If anyone wants to aspire toward Manjari Bhav and Seva and Paliadasi Bhav, any of these things, we have to understand what this is, how, how rare, how unique, how exclusive only the Manjari. So, do we feel separation from Radha and Krishna and all their associates like Rupamanjari, Lalita, Vishaka, or from Vrindavan and Radha Kunda, or even from our Guru Dev? Some separation is there, but we are not hankering for him. Where are you? Where are you? not calling out to him. This should be in a sadak. Then the sadak can, by the grace of his Guru Dev, remember all these things, and pastimes will come themselves in the heart of that sadak, like worldly things come automatically in our hearts. So pastimes will come in that stage. <clears throat> Until thoughts of worldly things remain in our heart, that continuous remembrance and the manifestation of spurti will not come. When will it not come? Until as long happens. as thoughts of worldly things remain in our heart that continuous remembrance and the manifestation of spurti will not come. So how can we achieve that? If we have some taste in Harikatha and chanting, and by the grace of Guru and Vaishnavas, we receive a momentary darshan, like Narad, how he saw Narayan, oh, then we have something. You know the story of Narad when he was a boy and he went after his mother passed away and he went and he had spent four months with the sages. So when he was traveling and traveling he began to feel so much separation actually. Just his young boy he was. And in the middle of the forest, in the middle of the jungle he sat down and now he began to do his intensive internal bhakti yoga meditation that he had been taught by the sages. And Krishna, Lord Narayan, was very merciful because he appeared in his, not in his, not exactly appeared, but a, in a vision of him came and when that comes, an actual vision, 
internal, but he didn't appear outwardly. Like with Dhruva Maharaj, Lord Vishnu actually appeared with Dhruva Maharaj. But in this case with Narada, it was the vision of, he, he benedicted Narada with a vision of his transcendental form. And when Narada saw that, he became completely overwhelmed. The nice description is there in that chapter, how he experienced all of his senses and everything becoming completely overwhelmed with ecstasy. And then suddenly the vision vanished. And Narad, he was very, very upset, very upset by this. And he tried again to sit down and oh, again, but would not come. Then what happened? Not Ariel, a voice yeah, came spoke. directly yeah. to him. That I will not appear before you again. Yeah. In this, in this life, in this you will life. not again be able to see me. But I have given you this one darshan just to make your desire to see me very intense. Mm -hmm. So now you should spend the, your whole life uh, in this way, doing bhakti yoga. And then the voice disappeared and Narada felt very deep gratitude because huh? he had been gifted this. Actually, he wasn't qualified yet, but he had been gifted that. And so that's the story that Narada Muni told to Vyasadeva, his disciple, how he became Narada. And he did continued his whole life. And then at the end, that's a very special uh, description of how he didn't actually experience death or leaving the body. He experienced simultaneously. It's described as when lightning flashes, then you also see an illumination that comes from the lightning, you know? Like lightning and then everything becomes illuminated. So described like that in the Bhagavatam, how he, he received his spiritual body as Narad. So, Gurudev is saying, uh, where is that? Yes. <clears throat> so, if we have some taste in Harikatha and in chanting, and by the grace of Guru and Vaishnavas, we receive a momentary darshan, like Narad saw Narayan, then we have something. We should chant, read, and do all these things continuously so that devotion comes in our heart. And then we will realize something of this separation. <clears throat> now he is quoting a verse that is actually written by Raghunath Das Goswami. And we, we know this verse. It's from the book Sri Mukta Charitam. Nama Shrishtam Manamapi Sachiputra Matra Swarupam Rupam Tasyagrajam Urupurim Maturim Gostavatim Radha Kundam Girivaram Aho Radhika Madhava Sham Prapto Yasya Pratita Kripaya Shri Gurum Tam Natosmi. <clears throat> I bow down to the beautiful lotus feet of my spiritual master. Jai Jai Shri Radhe Govinda Ki Jai. Jai. I bow down to the beautiful lotus feet of my spiritual master by whose causeless mercy I have obtained the supreme holy name. And there's a whole list. He's listing everything. Prapto yasya pratita kripaya. That means having obtained this from Sri Guru, 
Sri Guru Mutam Matosmi and pay my obeisances to him. So, <clears throat> first is Nam Shreshtam, the supreme holy name. Manumapi, the divine mantra, that means Gayatri mantras. Sachiputram, the service of the son of Sachi Mata. Atrasvarupam, and the association of Srila Swarup Damodar. Rupam Tasyag Rajam, Rupa Goswami and his older brother, Sanatan Goswami. Uru Purim, the supreme abode of Mathura. Urupurim Maturim Gostavatim. Urupurim Maturim means the supreme abode of Mathura, Mathura Mandala. And Gostavatim means the blissful abode of Vrindavan. Then he says Radha Kundam Girivaram. The divine Radha Kunda and Govardhan Hill. And then finally, Aho Radhika. Madhava Sham. It doesn't mean Sham, like Madhava Sham is the ending of this. It's a, a grammatical suffix. It means the attainment of them. Aho Radhika Madhava Sham. Yes. And Prapto. Rapto, no, here he's saying the supreme abode of the blissful. Then he says, and the desire within my heart for the loving service of Sri Radhika and Madhava in Vrindavan. Yes, like Asha. Okay, that now I understand. Aho Radhika Madhava Sham. Asham is at the end. Asha. So, <clears throat> if Guru Dev has given us greed for Nam, for Mantra, for Brajdham, Brajvasis, Rupa, Sanatan, Sarupta Mudar, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Nityananda Prabhu, Radha Krishna Jugal, any greed towards them, then we will always remember our Guru Dev for this. And Raghunath Das Goswami has received all this from Sarup Damodar, from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami, and Sanatan Goswami. He has taken darshan of Vrindavan, but not like us. He has had actual darshan of Vrindavan. And all these things, so he is feeling intense separation from them all. <clears throat> it is the goal of our life to develop even a slight attachment for any of these. And we will be indebted to whomever helps us. So now, Gurudev goes on and says, Who is Raghunath Das Goswami feeling so much separation from? Rupa Goswami, Sarup Damodar, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and Radha Krishna. When Raghunath Das Goswami was writing this verse, he was thinking of the lotus feet of Radhika. He is as Rati Manjari, and Krishna is sitting with all of Srimati Radhika's Swapaksha gopis, like Lalita Vishaka, Chitra, etc., but not with Chandravali and her group. At that time, she was seeing that Srimati Radhika is in the attire of Swadin Bhartrika. Here, Swadin Bhartrika means the lover who controls Krishna. Krishna has prayed to these Manjaris. He is praying. I want to meet Srimati Radhika. She is displeased with me today, and she is in Man, but I want to meet her. Then Rati Manjari told to Krishna, 
Mm -hmm. You should wait here outside. I'm going in the kunja, and I will beg permission from her. And if she will give me permission, I will take you to meet her. Just see what Manjari Seva is. Krishna prayed to Rati Manjari so much. He, she, he prayed, beg Srimati on my behalf. If I cannot meet her, I will die. Then Rati Manjari saw the glories of Srimati Radhika. Oh, Krishna is begging so much. She was smiling and went into the kunja where Lalita, Vishaka, and all were gathered. Vishaka was telling Radhika that she should, be, she should not be in Man because then Krishna will go to Chandravali or any other gopi. But Lalita was saying, don't give up your Man. If you give up your Man, he will become free from his sense of guilt and he will not come to you. So be as you are. <laughs> and Lalita is always encouraging Srimati Radhika to stay strong in her mind. <laughs> At this time, Rati Manjari came and said, Krishna is waiting outside for your permission. He is praying so much for being able to meet you. What should I do? Then after some discussion with Srimati Radhika, Lalita said, go and bring him. Smiling but feeling ashamed, Krishna entered the kunja. His pitambara was on his neck, and he kept the two ends between his folded hands as if praying for something. The gopi said, sit down. And Krishna sat down at the lotus feet of Radhika. She was sitting on an elevated seat, and all the gopis were seated somewhat lower. Krishna then began to pray to Srimati Radhika, who answered, All right, you should paint my feet with alta. That's the red black. Krishna became very happy. All were witnessing this pastime. Krishna took a golden brush or a peacock feather and very gently and smoothly he dipped his brush into the red color and painted. But when he was painting, Krishna could not check his feelings and his hand began trembling. Then his brush went somewhat zigzag. Radhika began to smile and seeing her smiling, all the sakis began to smile. Srimati Radhika said, Oh, new painter, don't you know how to paint? For a long time you have only been staring at my feet and moving them from one side to another. Also, your hands are trembling so much that you cannot hold the brush. Then Krishna replied, I will paint so beautifully that even Chitra, Vishaka, Lalita, and Tungavidya, who are the masters of arts, will be truly amazed. Let us see. <laughs> But his hands were trembling, and he couldn't paint. Then seeing this, Srimati Radhika said, You cannot be my new painter. Old Tulsi, come here. He is unable to do this. You should do. Then Tulsi Manjari, that's also Rati Manjari, took the bowl of paint from Krishna's hands. And Krishna was sitting, and he was looking towards Tulsi Manjari. Radhika and all the Sakis were also watching Tulsi. When Tulsi's hands were ready to catch hold of the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika and begin to paint, at that time she saw that nothing was there. Then Raghunath Das came to external consciousness and began to lament. Where is Radhika? Where is Krishna? Where did everyone go? O oh, Radhike, O oh, Radhike! And thus he began to cry. Just see. This is what <coughs> is behind that verse. Mm -hmm. A very good pastime was taking place. Shimati Radhika was ordering him to paint, and he was thinking himself to be so lucky and fortunate. 
He was meditating on himself to be the most dear maid servant, King Pari of Srimati Radhika. Radhika, in a pleasant mood, was ordering him, but when he put out his hand, he saw that nothing was there. What happened? He, as Tulsi Manjari, was just about to touch the lotus feet of Radhika, and then what? Yes. Uh, he saw nothing was there, and he began to weep and roll on the ground. Twad alokana kalahi. Oh, I was seeing you order me so pleasantly, and all the sakis were present there. But now I'm seeing I'm alone on the bank of this kunda. No one is here to console me. Neither Rupa Goswami nor Sanatam Goswami. They are my everything, but they are not here. What to do? And saying this, he began to weep bitterly and roll in the dust on the bank. Feeling intense separation from Srimati Radhika, in this verse, <clears throat> Rabbanath Das Goswami describes that separation as kalahi, a black snake. This word is said for the black snake, Krishna, because sometimes Krishna steals away Radhika to enjoy with her in a solitary place, causing the Manjaris to feel great separation. Uh, I want to again read this verse. We sh I should have done that at the beginning, but I forgot. So verse 9 is the, what's being commented on here. Twad alokana kalahi dam shayar eva mritam janam twad padaja milal laksha besha jayar devi jivaya Can you repeat? Twad alokana. Twad alokana. Kalahi. Damshair. Eva. Eva. Mritam. Janam. Twad padabja. Milal laksha. Besha jair. Devi jivaya. O Devi, with the medicine of the red lack from your lotus feet. Please bring back to life this person now dead from the bites of the black snake of not seeing you. Can you repeat? O Devi, o Devi, with the medicine of the red lack from your lotus feet, please bring back to life this person now dead this person now dead. From the bites of the black snake. From the bites of the black snake. Of not seeing you. Of not seeing you. <clears throat> so, feeling intense separation from Shimati Radhika, in this verse, Raghunath Das Goswami describes that separation as Kalahi, a black snake. This word is said for the black snake Krishna because sometimes Krishna steals away Radhika to enjoy with her in a solitary place, causing the Manjaris to feel great separation. Laksha means red lack, Laksha. So this alta has connection with Krishna and the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika. Krishna has so much praying because he is Rasaraj. So he has so much love and affection for Srimati Radhika and he serves her more than any husband could serve his wife. Raghunath Das Goswami wanted to describe this thing here by Kalahi. Krishna is black. 
he uses the word mritab, meaning he is about to die. <clears throat> among the eight sattvic bhavs that we find, we find amongst the eight sattvic bhavs the, the symptom called death. The eight sattvic bhavs, transformations of the body, and one of them is called death. Uh -huh. Feels like death, or yeah, well, they don't actually die because they're eternal. <laughs> we see that throughout Radha and Krishna's pastimes, don't we? But this is an ecstatic emotion where they literally feel that they're going to die. Yeah. So he uses the word mritam, meaning that he is about to die. Among the eight sattvic bhavs, we find the symptom death. He is about to die, and certainly he is in that stage that he may die. He needs some medicine, and he is praying for that. The medicine is to have Srimati Radhika's darshan, but not just any darshan. When he is participating in the pastime or performing the best service to her, to serve her lotus feet. If one who knows the man, if one who knows mantras comes at that time of a snake bite and utters their mantra, then one can be saved from the snake bite. So, who can come and save Raghunath Das Goswami from the black snake bite of separation? Who? Only Shrimati Radhika. Only she can come. Tvat pa dabja milal laksha be shajair devi jivaya. He is remembering. O oh Devi, at that time I was seeing that Krishna was painting your feet with alta. He was not doing a good job, so you ordered me instead to put color on your feet. And when I became ready, that Leela at once disappeared. I saw no lotus feet, no you, no Krishna, and no beautiful scene. Now I'm dying. If that pastime manifests again in my heart, and you give me your lotus feet and that color, then I may survive. What color? While Krishna was painting, he kept your feet sometimes at his heart, sometimes on his head. Did you hear that? What did it just say? Sometimes on his head. And sometimes on his heart. When he was painting. And in this way, the paint smeared onto his body. So if you will give me the remnants of that laksha, which is on the face of Krishna, then I may remain alive, otherwise not. Krishna has applied that laksha color on your lotus feet, but it has become smeared here and there. I will apply it a second time, and then I will take some, and I will keep it on my head. If I can put on my head the laksha that was smeared from your feet onto Krishna's body, his heart or hair, then I can be saved, otherwise not. The gopis are telling to Krishna, you are the best doctor, but Tulsi Manjari is a most obedient follower of Srimati Radhika and Radha Paksha in Radha's camp. Her Swamini is Radhika, and she wants that she should receive this remnant paint from Krishna's body, from Srimati Radhika. So, Radhika is the doctor here. O oh Radhike, I will not be saved if you will not give this laksha. So I pray to your lotus feet that this remembrance will come again. Also, you should give me your lotus feet so that I can paint them and I can have the color on my head, otherwise I will not be alive. 
internally, Raghunath Das Goswami is serving Radhika and Krishna. And externally, while remembering and weeping, he is offering Pushpanjali to the lotus feet of Srimati Radhika in the form of this Vilap Pushamanjali. He is praying to her for the opportunity to serve her in the way in which he is seeing with his inner vision and he is feeling separation in a similar way as Radhika feels separation from Krishna. <clears throat> Even when Radhika has just returned from Krishna, still she thinks, I have not seen Krishna for such a long time. And she feels great separation. We cannot even imagine this stage. Only those who are perpetually serving her can possibly imagine something of it. <clears throat> we may possess some eagerness to see Krishna, but we have no Mahabhav. What to speak of Mahabhav? We don't even have any Shuddha Sattva, or Bhav, or even any Asakti, deep spiritual attachment. One can only taste separation as Srimadhi Radhika does in the elevated stage of Madan. Even Lalita and Vishaka do not possess this. By serving her, the Manjaris can realize something of it. Oh, that, that whole paragraph is actually a, a repeat of the paragraph. Yeah, they made a mistake there. But anyway, it's not a mistake. It is meant to be said twice. <laughs> Yes. What? It, I don't think it did say she It had a few that. extra um, things that we don't have, like Shuddha Sattva, I think, and Asakti. Um, it's not Asakti. Maybe. maybe. Not, yeah, not maybe, but it's almost identical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, in Raghunath Das Goswami's meditational trance, a spurti came. And he saw that while in Nishanta Lila, Shimati Radhika is saying to Krishna, You have not decorated me correctly. My garlands have broken, and my bindi has washed away. In performing puja, a devotee will always pray that his Ishta Dev will come, will come by saying, Svagatam, Svagatam, Kling Krishnaya Namaha. Idam Achamaniyam, Idam Snaniyam, Idam Naivedyam, and Idam Pushpanjali. Then, while touching the deity's feet, one should pray. The worship is now completed. Please return to your Singhasan. Then, all the articles and the area where the archan was performed should be very carefully cleaned. If after completing the puja, one does not request the deity to return to his singhasan, clean the paraphernalia and return it to its proper position, it will be aparada. A priest should always be mindful to do all of these things. So Radhika is saying to Krishna, You are a priest, and having called your Ishta Deva, she came and you worshipped her, now you should request her to go away because the worship is finished and then clean all the paraphernalia and replace it in its proper location. If you don't do this, it will be aparad. So do it at once. And then hearing this, Krishna became so pleased. There are so many hidden points included within this dialogue, but they cannot be spoken of openly. They are very, very sacred things. This is a brief explanation of this verse. And anyone who has developed a little greed for Raghunuga Bhakti will weep while praying to their Gurudev, to the Manjaris, such as Rupa Manjari and Rati Manjari, and to Srimati Radhika, that when will such a vision come in my heart? And when will I receive the opportunity to serve like this? That's the end of this commentary. 
I'm just completely blown away that here they've actually spoke these things in that time period to the such and such persons, you know. What he gave, incredible, incredible. So, now we're going on to verse 10. <clears throat> Devi te charana padmadasika vipra yoga bharadava pavakai dahyama natara kaya vallarim jivaya kshana nirikshanangatai. Can you repeat? Devi te charana padma. Dasika, Vipra Yoga, Bhara, Dava, Pavakai, Dahyama, Dahyama Natara, Dahyama Natara, Kaya, Vallarim, Jivaya, Kshana, Nirikshanamritai. O Devi, <clears throat> with the nectar of a moment's glance, please restore the life of this maidservant of your lotus feet, who now burns in the great forest fire of separation from you. Can you repeat? O Devi, o Devi with the nectar of a moment's glance, Please restore the life, Please restore the life of, this of this maid servant of your lotus feet, who now burns in the great forest fire of separation from you. Srila hmm. Gurudev's commentary. Hmm. I think we'll see, but. I think now the commentaries become a little bit shorter because a lot of these have been quite long. Anyway, we like long. <laughs> now, <clears throat> Gurudev is saying, Devi te charana padmadasi kam. O Devi, I'm a maid servant of your lotus feet. Vipra yoga paradava pavakai. Hear the word prayog means to meet in all respects. And viprayog, not to meet in any respect. In other words, vipralamba uh, or separation. Vipralamba means meeting in an inner way, not separated. If in viyog, in separation, the idea of meeting is not coming in our heart, then it is so dangerous. Oh, I'm reading that again. So vipralamba means meeting in an inner way, not separated. If in the yoga, If in V-yoga, separation, the idea of meeting is not coming in our heart, then it is so dangerous. So in the word V-yog, meaning separation, we find the word yog, meaning union. So without meeting, there can be no separation. Similarly, in Vipralamba, there is Pralamba. When union is not felt, then external vipralamba takes place and one begins to weep, remembering all the previous meeting. This is called vipralamba. He is remembering that he was going to take the brush from Krishna's hands and to serve Srimati Radhika's feet, 
But when he was about to take the brush, nothing was in his hand. And he saw, oh, I'm Raghunath. I'm not Tulsi Manjari. Where is Krishna? Where is my Swamini, whose maidservant I am? And then he began to weep. As a man in his sleep sees, I'm so wealthy. I'm emperor of the whole world. I'm ordering everyone and everyone was carrying out my orders. But when he wakes, when he wakes up, he is lying on the earth with a blanket, worn and torn. So in a similar case, Raghunath Das Goswami prays, Where is Srimati Radhika? Where is that kunja in Vrindavan? And he began to weep like he was about to die. He is saying, Davapavakai, flames of a fire. But these are not ordinary flames. Here, Dava means forest fire, like the Munjatavi forest fire in Krishna Lila. The forest covers miles and miles, and the forest fire spreads everywhere. We just experienced that, did we not? <laughs> so, Raghunath Das Goswami is like in the middle of the forest without any water. Fire is everywhere and he is about to die. The separation of unable to meet Krishna, Radhika and the Sakis and being deprived of service to them is like the burning in that forest fire. Raghunath Das, as Tulsi Manjari, held the brush in his hand to paint Radhika's feet, but then he saw that it was gone. A Chintamani touchstone was in his hand, but he was unable to hold on to it, and so he began to weep. Here, <clears throat> he is saying, the forest fire of separation has encircled him like a garland, and he cannot escape. He cannot get out of this ring of fire that has surrounded him, and he is sure he will not survive. Srila Kaviraj Goswami has described that all the happiness and distress in the world cannot be equaled to even a fragment of the happiness and distress that one experiences in the fire of separation. So what is he telling? So all of the distress in the world yeah. cannot be compared to even one fragment of that separation. Yes. All the happiness and distress in the world cannot be equal to even a fragment of the happiness and distress that one experiences in the fire of separation. But are we feeling even a slight particle of that fire of separation? Who will realize this? The one who has an experience of meeting can, otherwise not. Uh, merely by hearing it, it will not come. If some anartas will be removed, then it can come to a very small extent. If we have some feeling of separation for Vaishnavas and Gurudev, then there is a chance that we can feel some of this separation fire. If we can weep feeling separation for our spiritual master and those Vaishnavas who have given us a drop of mercy allowing us to, to enter into this, then the experience of this fire of separation will burn all our pop, all of our sins and our obstacles. At that time, there will be no smiling, only weeping and weeping. So what is he saying here? That if we can have some feeling of separation for Vaishnavas and Gurudev, then there is a chance that we can feel some of this separation fire. If we can weep feeling separation for our spiritual master 
and for those Vaishnavas who have given us a drop of mercy, allowing us to enter into this, then the experience of this fire of separation will burn all our pop, all our sins and obstacles. And at that time, there will be no smiling, only weeping and weeping. Good weeping, yes? So Raghunath Das Goswami is feeling separation like this because he has received the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa Goswami, Sanatana Goswami and all others. And Raghunath Das Goswami has prayed to Sanatana Goswami in verse 6 and he has prayed to Rupa Goswami in verse 1 and also in verse 72 of this Vilap Kushamanjali. He has written many prayers to them. <clears throat> he is weeping and he is praying. O oh Devi, I'm feeling trapped in this forest fire, which is like a chain surrounding and burning me. Dahyama, Dahyama Nattara Kaya Vallarim means fire has come and wants to take me in its lap. There is no chance of being saved. Only Srimati Radhika has the medicine for me. If you want, then you can save me in a moment. A kshana is a hundredth of a part of a moment. So, this is a time division. Kshana. K, S with a dot, A, N, A. Kshana. A kshana is a hundredth of a part of a moment. Very? Can't even describe a hundredth of a part of a moment. How will she save him? By her glance. Nirikshanam ritai. In your glance, there is amrita. And this nectar is an ocean. Contained in one short glance of yours, there are oceans and oceans of nectar. We, do we also say uh, a, not ashtakam, but uh, da, what is it called? Radha Kripa Kataksha Stavaraj. Do we also talk about this glance in that prayer? As the author of that prayer prayed, for the glance of Srimati Radhika. How has he said that in the Sanskrit? Can you explain that line? The words? Uh, not word for word. But whatever words you know. I know when we use. Yes. Give me your merciful sidelong glance. Yes. Tada Karishyasi Hamam. When will you bestow upon me? Kripa Kataksha Bhajana. Your merciful sidelong glance. Kataksha. Kata Aksha. So, and here Gurudev is saying that even a kshana in a, is a hundredth of a part of a moment. How will she save him? By her glance. Nirikshanam Ritai. In your glance there is Amrita. And this nectar is an ocean. So contained in one short glance of yours, there are oceans and oceans of nectar. So we've said that, that last line uh, in that Stavaraj, we've said that thousands of times. Kada karishyasi hamam kripa katak shabhajanam. Have we felt some something by praying that it may be we won't tell that openly but this is what we want and this whole entire book all the shlokas in this book written by Raghunath Das Goswami are praying for that in the most intense way to the extent that if without that he'll die yes and what is, the, what is contained within that glance? It doesn't say in the Stavaraj. 
It just says, you're merciful. But this is what's contained in it. Oceans of nectar. Nirikshanam ritai, amritai. Niriksha, amritai. Your nectarine glance. So, <clears throat> which vision of Radhika does Raghunath Das Goswami want to see? Yeah. And these are the last two paragraphs of this verse. We'll complete that. Which vision of Radhika does Raghunath Das Goswami want to see? You should laugh. Krishna is painting and you are smilingly telling him. This is what he wants to see. That Shrimati Radhika, you should laugh. Krishna is painting and you are smilingly telling him, oh, you are not efficient in this work. You are new. You don't know. You are inexperienced. Oh, Tulsi, you should do. Oh, Krishna, give the paint to her. I want that very glance of Radhika, who is smiling and who is giving orders to Krishna. Krishna is not willing to give up, but I will go and forcibly take the bowl of paint from his hands. My Swamini has ordered you, but still you don't want to give me the paint? I will try to take the bowl, but Krishna will not give it to me, and then I will try again. It is the glance of Srimati Radhika that I want. If you give me this glance, I will be saved, otherwise I will die. This is a very brief explanation of this verse. <clears throat> Raghunath Das Goswami is a true friend. If he had not come to this world, we could not follow Rupa Goswami. Huh? Is that a fact? That if Raghunath Das Goswami had not come to this world, then we could not follow Rupa Goswami. Why is that? Do you know? Raghunathas Goswami is teaching us how to follow Rupa Goswami, how to follow Rupa Mandri. And without Raghunathas Goswami, we wouldn't know how to approach Rupa Mandri, Rupa, Rupa Goswami, and how to be Rupa Nidra. Exactly. Because he is really the topmost and first Rupa Nuga Vaishnava. All others. That's why our line is called Rupa Raghunath. Uh, because without Raghunath Das Goswami, we would not be able to know how, what are the moods, how to apply them, how to practically uh, in, one, in our own life and, and to gradually become qualified to enter into this Rupa Nuga uh, pathway how to embrace all the moods that Rupa Goswami has expressed and Raghunath Das Goswami is actually, he's actuating them in his life. Yeah. So, that's why Gurudev is saying that Raghunath Das Goswami is a true friend. How can you have a greater friend? If he had not come to this world, we could not follow Rupa Goswami. It is very hard to practice what is said in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, uh, and especially in the Ujvala Nilamani, very hard to practice that. But Raghunath Das Goswami has showed us by his practice and through his books, like this Vilapakusha Manjali, he has shown us his own experience for us. We are so much indebted to him. Try to remember and worship Raghunath Das Goswami's and Guru Dev's lotus feet. So that completes verse 9, or verse 10. Right? Yeah, Can verse. Can you read the verse one more time? Yeah. <coughs> 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 
Devi te charana padma dasika vipra yoga baradava pavakai dahyama dahyama natara kaya vallarim jivaya kshana nirikshanam ritai. O Devi, with the nectar of a moment's glance, Please restore the life of this maid servant of your lotus feet, who now burns in the great forest fire of separation from you. Yes. And I'm just reading ahead for a little peek into verse 11. Just we'll peek at it before we read everything tomorrow. Wow, there's a lot coming tomorrow. My God. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -huh. Yes. What else? Oh, this looks like one of the longest purports that we have to look forward to for a couple of days, actually. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's... I hope that our dear Rishabh Dev Prabhu is listening in because he didn't want to he didn't want to miss all these classes, and he'll be gone for a number of days. But he said, I think I'm going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to uh, tune in <laughs> to the broadcast. So, our little, tiny little tidbit of verse 11. Svapne pikim, Svapne pikim sumuki, okay. Svapne pikim sumuki sumuki te charanam bujata rajat paraga patavasa vibhushanena shobham param atitaram ahahottamangam bibrad bavishyatikada mamasarta nama. <clears throat> oh, beautiful faced one. When, even in a dream, will I, by decorating my head with the splendid perfumed powder from your lotus feet, attain the goal of my life? We can repeat. Svapne, api, kim, sumuki, te, charanam bujata. Rajat, Rajat Paraga, Paraga Patavasa, Patavasa Vibhushanena <coughs> Shobham Param, param Atitaram Ahahottamangam Bibrad Bavishyati Kada Mamasarta Nama O oh, beautiful faced one, oh, beautiful one. When, when even in a dream, in a dream will, I, will I by decorating my head, decorating my head with, the with the splendid perfumed powder from your lotus feet attain the goal of my life. Shri Vilab Kushumanjali Ki Jai, Srila Gurudeva Ki Jai, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami Pada Ki Jai, Srila Rupa Goswami Pada Ki Jai, Shri <coughs> Sachinandan Gaur Hari Ki Jai, Nitai Gaur Premanande. <coughs> Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda <coughs>
Krishna Bhakti Pradidevi Satchiva Chana Monama Bansha Kalpadurubas Chakri Basindu Devaja Patitanam Pavani Yoga Vishnu Yoga Monama All glory to the Assembly of Devotees All glories to everyone tuning in here to this Vilapa Krishna Manjali class in New Braj, Badger, California United States of America the Earth Planet in the most fortunate universe where Mahaprabhu has appeared very recently. Gorpinanandi. Vivo.